chapter uh, mainly we have two parts part number one and I sent you the and however we have some details we have to study at the end of the chapter because we have some specific examples so mainly what we are going to talk about is the regulation of gene expression in eukaryotic cells or eukaryotes يمكن حكيت أنا قبل هيك إنه الموضوع أسهل من البروكاريوت بالنسبة لـ gene regulation والسبب إنه we don't have because it's very complicated and we don't have much details about the regulation in eukaryotic cells. However, if you go deep in the in studying the eukaryotic genes regulation, uh, you will find a lot of details making the topic more complicated. If you are specialist in that field. لو نروح على الديفلوبمنتال بيولوجي. هلا بنتكلم عن انترودكشن زي هاي بالجينيتكس انه هاو ذا جينز ار جوينج تو بي ريجوليتد ان يو كاريوتيك سيلز اور ان يو كاريوتس رح ناخذ اكزامبلز ببسيطه بالنسبه لهذا الموضوع. هلا الميجر ديفرنس بين ذا بروكاريوتيك اور بروكاريوتس اند يو كاريوتس اللي هو ذا سايز اوف ذا جين بيسكلي اند هاو ذا جين از جوينج تو بي باكت ان بروكاريوتس اند يو كاريوتس. هلا بنعرف انه بالجينات او الجينوم بالبروكاريوتس اتس نوت ذات هيوج نوت كومبليكيتد اند اتس باكت وذ واتس كولد نيوكليوسوم ستركشر سوري نوت نيوكليوسوم نيوكليويد بادي اوكي نيوكليويد بادي اللي هو عباره عن بروتينز موجودين مع الدي ان اي اند ميكينج ذيم لوك لايك ذا بروكاريوتيك اور نيوكليوسومال ستركشر هلا باليوكاريوتيك سيلز وي هاف هيوج جينوم And we have uh, chromosomes that are separated from each other. So the DNA is fragmented, kind of. And because we need more regulation, and because we have levels of differentiation and, let me say, developmental stages, we have to have more regulation process or more complicated regulation process. إذا بنطلع على اليوكاريوتيك جينوم، what you're gonna see is this area which represents more than 95% of the genome and a small area of less than 5% of the genome representing the genes that are going to be expressed as proteins. وما تبقى was called زمان كان يسموه junk DNA. جنب دي ان اي لانه كان يعتقد انه ما لوش فانكشن هو مجرد لانه ما فيهوش جينز وبالتالي ما لوش دور مهم جدا فكان يسموه جنب دي ان اي. اتس نوت اني مور جنب دي ان اي اوكي بيكوز ذي فاوند ذات ذي سيكونسز اور ذا موست اوف ذا جينوم از ذا 
regulating the pipe pressure of the female. Okay? We don't have such option in prokaryotic itself on eukaryotes because we don't have junk DNA, if you would. Most of the genome is coded. جينز يقوم بوظائف معينة لذلك هذا خطر بالنسبة للبروكاتيك سيلز الديث ريت عندهم عالي بسبب انه في عندنا الجينوم كله عبارة عن كود دي ان اي وي دونت هاف انترونز وي دونت هاف ذات ماتش ريجيليتري سيكونسز او نون كود سيكونسز سو اتس ات ريسك اوف ديث فالمورتاليتي ريت عندهم عالية لانه اي ضربة بالدي ان اي اي ديفكس راح يأثر على الاورجن اوكي So that's why the regulation in eukaryotic cells is very complicated because we have 95% of the genome is controlling just 5% of that genome. And we'll see that by studying these examples. And these are the major topics that we are going to look, cover. First of all, we will talk about cis-acting regulatory sequences. What do we see in the prokaryotes? What are cis-acting regulatory sequences? They are sequences that are present in the chromosome. And it's controlling the genes on the same chromosome. How the heck should we lack of throne and trip of throne? Right? Can we end an operator or promoter? How do we say him cis? It's not going to say him cis in that. Now, let's talk about this new study. Because how do the cis regulatory elements they have a story, as well as trans-acting regulatory proteins. Also, how do we see this in the prokaryotic cells? Let me show you the precursor of the metal or any other factors that are going to bind the promoter. So we call them trans. Cis معناها the same sequence is controlling the gene. Sequence موجودة على نفس ال DNA تبع الجين. Trans معناها في عندي بروتين جاء من مكان وراح ارتبط على هاي ال sequence. That's the difference. Okay. And it will be easy when we discuss that. But we have these distinctive names. لما بنحكي عن eukaryotic cells and they are cis or trans. But cis معناها sequences while trans means that we are talking about proteins rather than sequences. Up to date. We don't have examples of trans-acting sequences. لغاية اليوم هاي بحب أحطها لبارة دائما. Okay, they did not discover yet trans-acting sequences, which means it could be found. معنى آخر إنه it's open for research. يعني ممكن واحد منكم يفاجئ يجيها ويسموها مثلاً إذا حد اسمه جاسم جاسم سيكونس أو جاس إذا بتفقدها باختصار لأنه أنا كنت أحب الاختصار. Now the second topic we'll talk about, and actually it will take most of the part of the chapter. Chromatin remodeling, modification that regulates eukaryotic transcription. راح نركز أكثر شيء على الكروماتين ريموديلينج. زي ما بديت الشرح تبعي إنه الجينوم في البروكاريوتيك سيلز موجود على على شكل نيوكليويد ستركتشر إذا كان كومبليكيتد والجينومز أو الجينز معرضين أو مكشوفين لل Expression. Man, after a repressor can't find the promoter and suppress the gene or whatever. Hey, the story is different with eukaryotic cells. The 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 chromosomes in eukaryotic cells or the DNA is packed around the nucleosomes. And how can you explain this chapter? So as you might know, our DNA. Folded around what's called histone. From the shape of the structure, what's it called? Nucleosomes. Okay. Of course, these nucleosomes, the DNA, in the beginning, how many they need to form? Twenty. Twenty. Ten. 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 You will increase the diameter. Instead of being two nanometers, it will be ten nanometers. Okay. هذا بسمو levels of packing of DNA. هاي القصة DNA structure at the beginning of the molecular reality or molecular genesis. إنه تبلش من two nanometer. بعدين تعمل packing. نعرف الشكل فبصير عبارة عن كل واحد من هدول. 10 nanometer. The nucleosomes they are folded around other scaffold proteins. From the shape of the shape, it's more patchwork. Yeah, the shape. Fifth 
سيرتن ثانوميتر اند ديميتر هذا بسبب الباكينج في الميتر فانت كل ما مشيت تديني ستركتشر بالباكينج يو ار انكريزنج ذا ديميتر على حساب سبيس اوكي ان اوردر تو ريديوس ذا سبيس اوف ستورج اوف ذا دي ان اي عشان هيك احنا بنعمل باكينج للدي ان اي لانه اذا ظل مفروض راح يكون طوله اللي هم 23 بيرز اوف كروموسومز اللي بحب اسميهم ما بحبش استخدم مفترض في التربين كروموسوم وي هاف 23 بيرز اوف كروموسومز فما فيش عندي كروموسوم 46 او كروموسوم 45 يو نو واي؟ ما بحبش استخدم 46 كروموسوم از ا تيل لانه عندنا احنا 23 نوع او 24 نوع اذا كنا نتكلم عن الميلز من الكروموسومز تمام؟ في عندنا كروموسوم نمبر 1 يو هاف تو كوبيز بعد شوي هذول يصير عباره عن لايك ثريد بهذا الشكل طبعا مع التكنيك طبعا محافظ على مع التكنيك تبقى يعني تكون بمعنى اخر كل واحد عباره عن ثريد سو ات ويل فور 300 نانوميتر فايبر اوكي اند ذن هذا نفسه عباره عن ايش؟ بسبب هذا الشيء هاي العباره موجوده او حكيت انه بهذا السكشن راح يكون موست اوف ذا تشابتر از توكينج اباوت كروماتين ريموتيل اوكي انه انا بدي اغير في الستركشر تبع الكروماتينز ان اوردر تو ريجوليت الجين اكسبريشن جين اكسبريشن او ريجوليشن اوف ذا جين بروسيسز بيسايدز ذا اذر فاكتورز اللي بروحوا بيرتبطوا على الدي ان اي سيكونس هون اللي هم على البروموترز او على الترانس البايندنج سايت اللي هو الانهانسرز او الترانسرز اللي هم الشروحات اللي حنحكي عليهم بعد شويه. في عندك انت مجموعه من البروتينات بيسكلي ذي ار جوينج تو بايند ذا دي ان اي لايك بلاك ذا تو فايز هون لانه هذا الجين موجود هون. يو هاف بروتين ذات ويل بايند سايت هير. بيفور ذات يو هاف تو موديليت ذا كروماتين ستركشر. اوكي؟ ذات واي اتس فيري كومبليكيتد. And we are not going to study deep details. We will study some examples. So, ما تتشاموش كثير لأنه مش هندر التفاصيل ب بحداثيرها. لأنه it's very very complicated. We will discuss general examples of these. واللي بدي يتوسع بروح يتوسع كل واحد. Okay. And finally, we have small portion for the RNA mediating mechanism control of gene expression. The role of the RNA in the control of gene expression. Is it oral RNA? Yes. We have like the Antisense RNA اللي شفناه بالبروكاريوت سيلز اللي هو عندك ماسنجر ار ان اي في عندنا جين بروح بطلع كومبليمنتري ار ان اي صغيره وبسبب بلوك للجين او الماسنجر ار ان اي سو يو يو ار كنترولينج ترانسليشن ات ذيس ليفل فهذا الشيء ليميتد بالبروكاريوت سيلز وايد ان يوكاريوت سيلز اور ان يوكاريوت وي هاف هيوج ميكانيزم وكل اللي بسمع بالايام هاي بشيء اسمه كريسبرز الكريسبرز هذول بيزد على الار ان اي كنترول اللي بيحاولوا يعالجوا فيه مجموعه من الامراض اند ون اوف ذيس ديزيزز كود بي ذات اي في فور اكزامبل اوكي سو ذا جيت از اوبن فور ريسيرش اند ايماجينيشن سو ذا كوز اوف ذا كومبليكيشن از ستركشر اوف ذا سيل اند وي ار ستاديينج ذا دي ان اي مولكيول ات ذا ليفل اوف ذا كروماتين ستركشر اند وي وي كود هاف ات ذا بيجينينج واتس كولد Chromatin structure or regulation of gene expression and chromatin structure, and then we have transcription modification of the RNA and the transportation. Then the translation of the protein. These levels of regulation. These are the things that we are going to study. One, two, three, four, and five. Are those the most severe regulation in eukaryotic cells? But mainly, we will focus on this area. And we have some examples of the post transcriptional evolutions of the genome. So, these are the major items 
of the gene regulation in eukaryotic cells. And one by one, in order to regulate gene expression in eukaryotic cells, they will be described as, as the following. Organization of regulatory sequence other than promoters that contribute to the regulation of transcription. So we are not talking about promoters. We have other regulatory sequences. Akhtar min qasat promoters in eukaryotes. Hadol sequences in the eukaryotes. Mechanisms that remodel chromatin structure for configuration associated between nucleosomes and DNA to regulate transcription. Again, controlling of the chromatin or packing structure. Epigenetic mechanisms means that we have some other factors that regulate gene expression other than the DNA sequence itself. When we talk about the DNA sequence or gene itself, it's called genetic. While if you have other modification mechanisms, they will be called epigenetic mechanisms. Uh, transmission of epigenetics, it's the same topic. It means that uh, epigenetic factors can be transferred more from one cell to another or from one generation to another. In epigenetics, you are not modifying the DNA. The modification of DNA is the ATLCG. You have a serious move. Mutation. Mutation. And it's genetic. Because you are changing the gene sequence or the DNA sequence. Right? The the sequence itself, but it affects the function of the sequence. It's an epigenetic. A simple example. The DNA is stored in the gene sequence. The gene sequence is stored in the gene so you are not changing the base. You are modifying. Okay. Other modifications, they're on one point of view. Homo remedy modification, so I can say methylated or unmethylated. Or hat ala nucleosomes, lumal histones, and the mellow methylation or acetylation. Highly specific or the chemical modification is epigenetic. Okay? It's not genetic. Yes, but the base is still the same base. But it can be transcribed or not transcribed. What does that mean? Then it's called methylated. We can call in that in time it's many transcription. Then we do the middle group high. أثرت على اختبار transcription factors بعدين أرى أن يكون مريض فأنت خرّت المكان اللي بدخل فيه regulatory process okay and vice versa so it depends where the position of methylation is going to be added or or removed so it plays a role in the regulation of gene expression وهذا اللي بيخلي الناس أحيانا يستغربوا من وجود مثلا سلوكيات أنا أكثر شيء يتعلق في psychology هو في psychiatry ليش في ناس اجريسيف؟ ليش في ناس حادين؟ ليش في ناس دائما مبتسمين؟ ليش ناس دائما تقول لي كلمه بدي اضل مبتسمين الى اخره من الحركه؟ السبب ذا ايبيجينيتكس اوكي؟ كيف يعني؟ هلا في ناس كثير تكلموا زي ما حكيتوا زي ما تعرفوا انه في عندنا شيء اسمه مثلا الميرجر جين اللي هو الجين المجرمين اوكي؟ جين الجريمه انه هذول ولدوا بجينات خليهم مجرمين او مدمنين أو جينات الذكاء تمام؟ نو. We have the same genes. Okay. ما فيش عندي واحد جين زائد. But what what difference is the expression of these genes and how we control the expression of these genes if we have the same sequences by changing our behavior. Could be lifestyle, diet, friends, environment. Media like Facebook, for example, always. وهذا إشي مكروه أصلاً. يعني أنا بتمنى إنه كل واحد بكتب على الفيسبوك بإشي بخص بلد، خص مؤسسة، إنه يتحول لشيء اسمه جرائم أمن الدولة. مش صحيح. لازم تكون very extreme. لما بتحكي على جامعة، هاي مؤسسة وطنية. مش مؤسسة مثلاً مظهر الزعبي أو حد دوم الشارع مش كلية أو إسلام مسافة أو شيء جامعة. هاي مؤسسة وطنية. لما تيجي تقول والله حالات غش بتغاضوا عنها. بتصير الاخطار تمام بس مش نروح نحاكم المؤسسه كامله اللي هي جزء من البلد اللي بعد شويه لو طلعوا علينا من برا خصوصا دول الخليج العربي بتقول لك هاي الجامعات فارقه الناس حبت ماليه وهذا الشيء صار بعض الجامعات للاسف 
فالشاهد فال... بالموضوع ان انت لما تحط حالك في بيئه دائما فيها احباط على الجيت بوك مثلا كل يوم الصبح تفتحها ولا قضيه الحساب الفلاني مش عارف المسؤول الفلاني الطبيب الفلاني يغلط بعمل قصص كلها تقود الى انه انت تشعر بت... وهذا بالمناسبه بلان اتس نوت راندوم وبلان بطريقتين بطريقه لا يعني لا اراديه هي اغبى من الاولى لان لا اراديه معناها انه انت بدك شيرنج اند لايف فانت نسيت المجتمع الاحباط يعني شو بتكون معنويات طالب ثلث سنه ثانيه او ثالثه او قريب من التخرج لما يسمع والله انه في بوزيشن نو مور بوزيشنز وذي ار ان بيد وبتبلش تعمل بومينج بالبلد طبعا في كيسز بس مش على مستوى عموم البلد شو شعور الطالب اللي بيكون؟ لا انتماء بالضبط احباط ولا انتماء ولا دراسه وكل سلوكه بالحياه بيكون يعني نيجاتيف لا تحترم دكتور، لا تحترم جامعة، لا تحترم مؤسسة، هذا شو شعور؟ اشتغلوا على هدول. في غرفة اسمها غرفة 13 عند الكيان الصهيوني بتشتغل على هذا الموضوع. إنه they are يعني introducing announcement بشكل وبعدين بيعرفوا بالبيو انفورماتيك لأنه هذا علم بالطب ذاته كان يستخدم فيه. بيعرفوا الاثنين تبع كل واحد. بلش تجيك دعايات احيانا بتقول لي بدك عن شوز معين شوز فتاه اوكي بعد شوي على فيسبوك تلاقي الاعلام بده ليش؟ They are listening they are watching كاميراتكم هاي مفتوحه بالمناسبه They are watching every single piece of movement من حياتك So we have to be careful انه احنا جزء من هاي الدوله من هذا الكيان المجتمعي اللي بصيرش دائما انا ابط احباط لانه هذا الاحباط بعد شويه شو بيعمل؟ ميتيليشن على جينز معينه مسؤوله على انك دائما ديبريس ودائما عارف او او وجبه يعني شعور الاحباط اول شيء بيكون ايش بده بشكل افشنت بالاضافه انه دائما مستصعب الامور انه هاي الكليه كان فيه اذا انت من النوع اكيد ما افضل فيها او افضل من هيك من هيك انت لازم اغيب عشان ما اعرف ايش الى اخره كله هذا مش بالجينز something affected the genes and the function of these genes. ولذلك في عندنا ناس مميزين اذكياء لانه their expression is different والتريتمنت للمحيط تبعها مختلف تماما. اوكي؟ وهذا الكلام مش تنظيري صراحه في قدام بتصير جدا على موضوع الميتيليشن والابيجينتس. عملوا دراسه على مجموعه من الحمام من نفس النوع. اوكي؟ في منطقه ما كان هذا الحمام يعمل جرومينج للتشيكس، ايش يعني جرومينج؟ يعني بيعترف بالصغار تبعهم. نفس الحمام في مكان اخر they are not doing the same بخلف التشيكس تبعهم بيتركوها اوكي ف interested بالسايكولوجي تبعهم انه ليش هذول بيعملوا هيك هم نفس النوع they found انه level of mutilation is different at the end of the day يعني to make the story short مستوى الميتيليشن مختلف هلا في عندنا مثل ترانسفيريز انزيم ودي ميتيليز انزيم موجودين عندنا في الكاركترز and they control the mutilation process and eventually the gene expression بهذا الاثر على سلوك حمامه اوكي انها تكون تعترف صغارها او ما تعترفش بصغارها وهذا الكلام بينطبق على السلوكيات اللي بنشوفها انه سلوكه مجرم سلوكه اجريسيف عدواني بدك هي المهذب هذا كله ليش؟ لانه انتدوست باي امبارنت ف لحسن الحظ انه هذا ريفيرسبل يعني تغير البيئه تروح المانيا ضغط الكمبيوتر على الشارع يصير مهذب مرتب بس ترجع على البلد تصير ترمي من السياره نفس الشخص ليه؟ الشعور بالانتماء نفسه بداخل البلد انه انت منتمي لغرفتك وهي ما بعرفش الغرف كيف صارت الان بس بعتقد انها نظيفه في المجتمعات العربيه وفي الشارع لا هو غير منتمي مش قادر افهم هذا مش قادر افهم ليش تفصل الشارع عن بيتك موضوع الاخر عندك فيه مشكله، انا بحكي عن مش عن 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 المجتمع العربي بشكل عام. الاخر عندنا فيه مشكله. لا نقبل تميز الاخر ولا نحترم مساحه الاخر. ودائما ندور حول الانا. وبالفيسبوك طول النهار، اوكي؟ بنصور بحالنا مشان نطلع باحسن صوره. 
فبنشتغل على هذا الموضوع وسببه جيني بس مش جيني بمعنى انه الجينز ار ديفرنت وي هاف ذا سيم جينز ذا سيم كونستيتيوشن بس وي هاف تو ورك اون ذات بالتالي يو هاف تو تشينج يور انفايرمنت تراست القلب اوكي اند يو هاف تو تراي ذات هلا اخر شيء ميكانيزم اوف ار ان اي اللي حكينا عنها هذا كل المواضيع اللي هما هاو ذا جينز ار جوينج تو بي ريجيوليتد ان يو كاريت سيلز ذيس ار ذا ليفلز اوف ريجيوليشن وات از ذات بيكوز وي هاف ديفرنت سيلز ان ديفرنت تيشوز اند ذير از نو واي انه 21000 جين تقريبا And all will be expressed in every cell. Okay, in the cells موجودة في العين, in the cells موجودة في liver and skin. There's no way that we can give the same gene the expression. Because the liver has to give ALT enzyme, for example, to function properly. This is not going to work in the or the skin. There can be regulation inside your body in every single tissue. And this is the other thing that we have to do. Why do the genes have switched off switch on in different areas? Because of that regulation of these gene expression by these levels, we can say. So the first title, the cis acting regulatory sequences. معناها sequences اللي هما cis على same gene على same sorry same sequence of DNA and trans acting regulatory proteins. So tell cis about the sequences. Will act will trans about the proteins. How they control eukaryotic transcription? Okay, so now the topic we're going to talk about translation and the description. All we're going to talk about is transcription control. Okay. And we have DNA protein interactions that is required, or they are required, in order to control the genes in the same manner that we have seen in the bacteria. Same manner, we have to we have to have proteins that will bind the DNA in order, in order to control the gene expression, but not in the same level of complexity. Allah is not the promoter, operator, or the genetic proteins are not that the genome size is very limited. They are more than sometimes hundreds of proteins just to control gene expression, what single gene expression, gene one. Okay, so we have activators. That bind the regulatory sequences to stimulate transcription. We refer to them as the suppression or inhibition of the gene transcription. The regulatory proteins are found in large complexes in your character cells. We have the same thing before. Unlike bacteria, bacteria can have small proteins that could switch off on off the gene. So these are the things that we are going to talk about. We will talk about transcription, and we will describe some. Regulation at the level of the messenger RNA. So, at the transcriptional level, we have regulation or regulatory proteins and transcription factors to bind consensus DNA sequences. First of all, they have to bind the DNA. Additional regulatory DNA sequences, they bind regulatory proteins in order to control the first sequence, the beta-lactate transcription factor. At the higher level, we have open chromatin structures. We mean, we are doing opening of this complex. We are doing it with open. We are saying open chromatin structure is vulnerable for transcription. Alternative, alternative promoters can be used in, in different cell types in order to produce different messenger RNA, as well as the role of the methylation, which is part of the epigenetic story. So these are the most important levels that we are going to talk about. Are there any levels of open? بالنسبة للمسنجر ار ان اي هاو وي كنترول الجين اكسبريشن او اللي هو الترانسليشن بعد شويه انه بدي اعمل بروتين ولا بدي اعمل بروتين يو كود كنترول كابنج الترناتيف كابنج سلايسنج اور الترناتيف سلايسنج ار ان اي ايديتنج اول اوف ذيس ار اذر ليفلز اوف ار ان اي اور جين اكسبريشن ريجوليشن انه انا بتحكم بالمسنجر ار ان اي انا ما قدرت امسك ترانسكريبشن أو بمعنى آخر أنا عملت كنترول على الترانسكريبشن ووقفته بس قبل شوي كان في مسنجر ار ان اي طلع هل يعقل إنه أنا بوقف الترانسكريبشن وما بديش هذا البروتين بالخلية برضه أترك المسنجر ار ان اي برضه شغال يعطيني البروتين سو يو هاف انذر ليفل اوف ريجوليشن اللي هو على مستوى الار ان اي هلا افتر ذات اف ذا ار ان اي از جوينج تو باس اول اوف ذيس ستيجز اند يو كود نوت كنترول ذيس وراح طلع من النيوكليوس للسايتوسول So we have another level of regulation on the translation. 
بالمرحلة الأولى you are controlling the messenger RNA not to be translated or not to be exported from the nucleus. هلا صار الترانسبورتيشن ما تقدر تتحكم في هذا الموضوع كان في عندك جزء خلية لا زال موجود هون. So it can be also regulated by Ubiquitous proteins, small RNA molecules, transport into RNA to cytoplasm is, is regulated as well, and stability of the messenger RNA. We've seen some examples in the uh, uh, prokaryotic cell. At the translational level, again, we can prevent translation by interfering factors or messenger RNA interfering sequences. At the end of the day, if you have the protein already translated, you can do what's called post translational. Modification or or translational regulation. هذا الشيء ما راح نتكلم عنه. ده هذا ولا هذا. So you know it takes time. هذا جزء من البيت مثلي هذا أو نوتيال ويز إذا كان سنتك. اللي هو you could fragment the protein or you could reduce the stability of that protein and you have also another story of regulatory or tissue size. In order just to have small comparison between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes, there are unicellular organisms and in eukaryotes we have most of the organisms are uh, multicellular organisms. بمعنى آخر في عندنا eukaryotic أو eukaryotes single cell. They mean. أعطونا examples على yeast. Yes. وهي على فكرة من الأمثلة الكثيرة جدا اللي درس عليها موضوع eukaryotic gene regulation. كمان. بروتوزوا. Example. فراميسين بكل يوم نشربه بالماء الأميبا موجودة برضو بالماء All of these organisms are eukaryotic cells and they are unicellular organisms هلا الفرق بين prokaryotes and eukaryotes إنه حجم الجينوم حجم البروتين في R plus R different However إذا بتطلع حجم البروتين اللي موجودين هون 4200 compared to 21000 proteins في عن خمسة بعد in order to have bacteria like E. coli and Nemo. But the role is rely on or relies on the regulatory sequences. How we regulate a dollar twenty one thousand proteins or genes. Then I can on unicellular multicellular and the regulation in the prokaryotic cell relies on or depends on the response to the environmental conditions. Uh, the same thing, we have environmental conditions as well as developmental level. Developmental means we have different tissues with different functions. They have to be developed in a different way. For example, we have been zygote. كلنا كلنا خلي واحد اسمه zygote. And then we have differentiated to have, for example, mesoderm, ectoderm, endoderm. هذول layers that are seen the development. But then كل واحد صار كابل تشو مختلف like uh, uh, vascular system or neurological system. These levels of let me say differentiation, which is part of the development, require huge control process. That's why we have such kind of gene sequences. Here we have BT gene expression. They are not well organized to be switched off at all or switched on at all because you have kind of loose control. But it's like in the basal line. There's a line of or baseline of expression. In the eukaryotic cells, there's no chance to have BT genes. It has to be very well or tight control of genes. Otherwise, there will be a huge problem. And you know, most of the time, we have what's called ratio of the factors and how they bind the regulatory sequences and when and how much to express that gene or that sequence. How the package follow type control in the eukaryotic cell. And again, we have the same thing. Housekeeping genes are found in two organisms, but here they are specific for limited uh, life processes, while here we have uh, developmental as well as tissue-specific expression and uh, as an addition in the eukaryotic cell. OK. Hello. السيكونس الأساسية الله إذا غلطت في أساسها في عندنا شيء اسمه سيكونسز أو ثري سيت أو ريجلاتوري سيكونسز ذات آر فاوند إن يوكاريوتيك سيلز أو إن أني يوكاريوتيك جين ذات جونج تو بي ريجلاتيد شفنا 
as they home with prokaryotic cells, Ultimately, that the core promoter is the first one. All the genes along promoters. So it's one of the core or the um, uh, three sets of gene control or regulation in different types of cells. And the promoter is the site for the binding of RNA polymerase type 2, which is specific for the uh, messenger RNA synthesis for transcription. And we have also, which is something new here, proximal element. Which is the second one. So, as we mentioned, we have three sets promoter, proximal element, and distal element, the fuse. This is the first sequence, the whole promoter site, the little field RNA polymerase. And as you can see, we have here other factors like transcription factors. It's just simplified diagrams or simplified. Simplified manahan is. Just a few examples of the proteins. There could be more than uh, 40 proteins in order to start the transcription process. But in the end, we need to uh, bind the uh, RNA polymerase to the promoter area. So the promoter area, the first sequence. The second one is another sequence here because it's close to the promoter. It's called proximal area. It has all the regulation of the transcription and how the factors are recognizing the promoter area. The third one is far away, either significant or distant, but it's called either enhancer or silencer. And the high sequence, the back one in the cover, to imply that it's far away or very distant from the original gene. To make the story clear, in the chemistry and the gene expression, what you need is at the beginning, the gene. And the gene has components, one of them is the promoter. So this is the first sequence. And we could have another sequence here, which is the proximal one. And وهي من الاشياء اللي اكتشفوها باخر 30 سنه اللي هم الانهانسرز هي. Why? And technology for us, but actually عندنا اكتشاف لل DNA sequences in the last year. sequences وجدوا انه صار mutation هذا الجين ما بيشتغل على السيجنال تاعهم. So هذول الاسهم اللي مبينين انهم معقدين الرسمه عباره عن interaction between genetic proteins and the site of the RNA polymerase binding or the proximal one of the enhancer one. Just to show that we have complicated process of Regulator proteins and other modulator proteins that are going to join each other in order to control the gene expression. That's the terminology of this in the interaction. So we have core promoter, proximal, and enhancer sequence. Well, enhancer next could be silencer. Enhancer, enhance the gene. Silencer, they inhibit the gene expression. Okay? And in addition, you have to notice that you have nucleosomes. وبالتالي الجينز مش مفروض جينز زي البروكاريوتيك سيلز they are coiled around the nucleosome first of all so you have to detach the leptons عشان تعمل opening لهذول السيكونسز which make things more complicated او بمعنى اخر احسن more regulated it's not random it's not as the cells wish we have regulatory elements that are square to control the Another just demonstration how to understand the role of the, uh, we can say, enhancers and silencers. This is the promoter area, and it controls the expression of the gene, for example, in cephalomatic synthesis. They found that we have one, two, three, four sequences that are working as enhancers. And again, they are cis elements. Manifilmic cis, they are in the mm -hmm. same sequence of the gene. In another example, we have here a promoter, another promoter, and we have here a third promoter, and we have one, two, three sequences that are controlling this promoter area, another one here, and these are called upstream, while these are called downstream regulatory sequences, and this is very downstream, so it could be close, could be far from the genes that are going to be controlled, 
and we have most of the genes, they interact by certain way in order to regulate genes. Okay? Based on specific examples. Okay? Okay. 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 Okay? So we have specific examples to show how these sequences, for example, are ignoring this gene and controlling the other gene. Okay? And this is just that in simple way. And this is the key, it's very important for switching class five, the exons and the position of the core promoter as a key word. So enhancers and silencers, they are at greater distances from the core promoter. It means that they are far away, like as I mentioned before, in silicon nucleus, okay? Right now, then, on the gene, on the the chromosome, they could work. And the same sequence could be enhancer or silencer. How we could, or how could we explain that the same sequence can be enhancer and another time can be silencer? في شغلات تأثر على could be for different genes for the same gene regulation exactly لأنه عشان هذا sequence is different في site تبعه اللي هو promoter for example it needs modulators or mediators, hello regulated for genes, they control the role of the sequence either being enhancer or silencer. I will see some example. These bind regulated for genes and interact with protein bond or bound to other promoter signals. So their function is to be recruited to the promoter area and activate the gene or deactivate the gene. And they can be upstream or downstream as we mentioned before, the nuclear target. So again, if you have cis-acting regulatory sequences, the homogeneous and homogeneous sequence, you have to have also trans-acting proteins, which are about proteins synthesized by other genes that are required for the binding of RNA polymerase, and that's why they are called general transcription factors, and we have also um, specific transcription factors due to the function of that gene. And Hassan Noah, this is structure in the one, which is the enhancer, or the looping, which is the horn. And to make it more clear, what's going to happen is the following. An enhancer or silencer making a loop, and this is because we have the factor, the original factor. In order to form enhancer some. So the enhancer some aggregation of multiple proteins with enhancers in order, so that's why it's called enhancer some, this area. So the enhancer some is the enhancer with regulatory proteins or bound proteins. So the enhancer some action that DNA binding into loop. And we have a looping, then we have the protein into two parts, DNA binding domain and protein binding domain. So they are making this interaction. So the protein is the most important thing about the proteins, which are the intermediate proteins. The loop allows enhanced strong proteins to interact with RNA polymerase later, visual RNA polymerase, and with other transcription factors in order to start transcription. So I will make RNA polymerase type 2 as a final target in order to stabilize the structure. Again, it's far away from the target gene as uh, silencer or enhancer. And the sequences had order, or the enhancer sequences, they have specific sequences to be recognized by these proteins. Should we say Nemo? So the silencers or enhancers contain binding site, which is a 
why they call them modules? لأنه بتصفوا بموديوليتر. أو بتصفوا بموديوليتر. How they discover them? لما يكونوا هون. By mutational analysis. إذا صار mutation بهذول. بصير في عندنا deficiency بالbinding between the proteins the homologous proteins and the enhancer sequences. هلا the credit goes back to the eukaryotic virus SV40 اللي هو بسببه كان في اكتشاف موضوع enhanced zones or silencers or enhancers and silencers in the eukaryotic cell. So this sequence is representing an enhancer or silencer sequence at the same time. Okay? اللي هو the third one. ليش ما نركز على هاي السيكونس؟ لانه من يجي الاختيار عند الكاتب السلس ان ذا ريجوليشن ميشن هي اللاعب الرئيسي. And as you can see we have from 1 to 7 sequences. اوكي شو هذول ال 1 to 7 sequences؟ موديولز موديولز. And this module is recognizing this factor SC1, SC2, SC1, SC2, SC1, SC2. هذول عبارة عن ايش؟ موديولز. موديولز اوكي. موديولز اوكي. That recognize the modules in the enhancer sequence or silencer sequence. The inner sequence. So, how do you call them enhancer? The right way to do the acts. And how they work? So, I'll ask now. We have one of the gentlemen. You know, in the proteins here, they play a role in this problem. So, basically, these proteins are known as activators, and these proteins are restrictors. Both of them can bind the same sequence. That's me. Look. اعتمادا على شيء اسمه pioneer factor. So if this pioneer factor recognizes the sequence of the activator, so the activator will be recruited. So the pioneer factor is the player or the ignition protein. هو اللي ببلش العملية انه مين بيرتبط؟ الريبريسور ولا الاكتيفيتور. It's just arbitrary example. Okay, انه في عندنا pioneer molecule. That recruits other activators. So, we can have a pioneer molecule that recruits the human cell, the human repressor protein, in order to silence or enhance the transcription process. So, transcription regulation is controlled by enhancers and silencers, and it. كل حكي اللي حكينا هون إنه far away from the gene, tissue specific. معنى آخر إنه the silencer or enhancer sequence في هذا tissue. ممكن تكون في تيشو اخر silencing sequence or enhancing sequence different from this one. So we have different sequences as enhancers and silencers depending on the tissue itself and depending on the type of the cell. One of these examples is what's called sonic hedgehog uh, gene, which is present in different types of cells. And controlled by different types of sequences, as we said, the normal enhancers. Is this one? Is this one? It's a cartoon name. It's a ah, right? We hit talk. Who will control? Come on, bye. I'll tell you a little bit more about this. I'm going to show you a few of the interactions that are present in this cartoon. في لبسه على الطفل اسمه هيتشوك. فالطلاب هي مرحله التدريب امس تدريب المرحله. على الباب تبعه في ليبل قال له انه مكتوب عليه هيتشوك. فهيتشوك بالموليكيولار بيولوجي باث واي. فدائما الطلاب يجوا بالمعلومات ماستر بكل حكيوا باث واي هيتشوك باث واي. فيجي بيشطفها هو بليز دونت رايت هيتشوك باث واي هو بكتبها لحاله. فتضل على القاعده. But just to remember that hedgehog story, it's a pathway for regulation, and it controls different types of genes or different types of tissues, basically. You are the limb and the brain, right here. Okay, you'll find it. Okay. So it controls the expression of the gene, the same gene, and the. The lymph formation and the brain tissue formation. So this gene, which is SHH keyword, is controlled by one million distant silencer or enhancer sequence. Okay. 
So these enhancers are different in location and function in two different tissues. In the limb, اللي هو الجزء المسؤول عن تكوين الأطراف, they found in the enhancer this one. from the promoter side is controlling the SHF gene in the limbs in order to control the peripheral growth. While in the nervous system, in the brain, the enhancer sequence, the enhancer sequence that controls the skin gene is located very close to the promoter area. It might be proximal if you go as controlling for it. Well, if you go back and read about Hedgehog or Phoenix Hedgehog uh, gene and the aggression gene expression plays a role in the number of the arms for the peripheral that the body forms and they are related to many if you will uh, nervous system uh, dysfunctions or uh, abnormalities. And if you know that we have different enhancers in different types of tissues. Why is that? Because simply this enhancer sequence is hidden in some way. But not also chapter while this one is exposed in order to activate the gene in the brain. Why it's hidden in the limb and exposed in the brain, specifically, or actually hidden in the brain and exposed in the, in the limb. So this is because we have nucleosomal story, we have nucleosomes, and they have uh, called the DNA in order to prevent the access of the transfer. We have another thing which is called, or another example of the Enhancer anti which is known as LCR region, locus control region. Locus control region, من اسمها locus موقع أو location. فالتحكم بالموقع أو بواسطة الموقع. موقع الجين أو موقع السيكونس اللي تعمل control للجين. Uh, I think you are familiar with the, what's called beta globin and alpha globin. كل اللي عارفين هذول الجينز. اللي يسمون الفا جلوبين جينز فاميلي وبيتا جلوبين جينز فاميلي مسؤولين عن السنتسز ذا الالفا والبيتا سب يونتس الهيموجلوبين دي بس تمام هلا نرجع للبيسك فيك كيمستري لما نكون احنا لسه امبريوز وي هاف سيرتن تايب اوف هيموجلوبين ذات جوينج تو بي شيفتد بعد شوي يصير عندنا طبعا جوه هيموجلوبين اللي هو الامبريو تيب 1 بعدين بتصير عندنا شيء اسمه فيتاس هيموجلوبين اند وي هاف افتر بيرث ديفرنت تايبس اوف هيموجلوبين اللي احنا بنسميهم هيموجلوبين اي هذول موجودين على كروموسوم الفا الفا سوري so we have here alpha genes, alpha 1, alpha 2, and here we have beta, and they are responsible for the formation of subunits from hemoglobin. We call them now as hemoglobin A. Yes. We have other genes now that are called or causing the core of this gene or who are alpha gene or alpha family genes. What are the more? Beta genes. What are alpha family Who's going to control that? Why these genes are going to be switched on and switched off? Based on, they discovered what's called LCR region and locus control region. And we will describe the beta gene, for example, expression. As you can see, we have the beta gene that we know, 
delta 1, which is also expressed after there, in order to have hemoglobin type AQ. And we have epsilon, beta, gamma, through gamma A, and gamma G, which is, uh, is called pi, I think, and this is epsilon. So these genes are located upstream of the beta gene. This is the first thing that we have described. And upstream of that, we have these sequences, which are known as LCR, locus control region, HS1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have four sequences that are called HS after the hypersensitivity history somewhere. Hypersensitivity, what do you mean those sequences? Hypersensitivity B and A is in binary. I didn't mention it, but in the way it is in binary. Now, those sequences, from complex is more out, much more of sequences is more LCR, locus control region. Now, those locus control region control the expression of these genes at different levels of development. We said that the cross between prokaryotes and eukaryotes is developmental things. The prokaryotes are not developmental. We have developmental levels of gene expression. So at the beginning, we have to have what's called epsilon expression with zeta in BG horn in alpha in order to have gold protein. And then we have gamma ma alpha in order to have F hemoglobin. And after the birth, we have delta and beta. So we have switch on, hodochrome switch off, but then switch off, switch on, hodochrome off, but then switch off, 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 and then we have on, on, on beta and delta. switch on, off during the developmental, but the, the story or the molecular level is saying the following, that we have these sequences, expression of these sequences means we have beta, with alpha, uh, if we are talking about the beta gene, and the alpha is already expressed, and we have delta in order to have um, uh, hit A2 hemoglobin, F hemoglobin, and we have beta hemoglobin, beta is more extra consistent in the after the birth. Before that, we have F protein, and or F hemoglobin, and at the beginning, the whole embryonic record of around epsilon and beta. But I'm not supposed to say hi, our story is to discuss the role of the LCR sequences. And if I check the sequence last three years, this is the beta gene, the blue eukaryotic delta, and the gamma A, gamma G, and epsilon. And I'll put them all Given the epsilon, we end up the sequence of regulation in the whole SH1 to 4, and we'll put the LCR. The LCR sequences, they have recognition sign at the promoter area of the beta gene. So they found that you know, these sequences are side enhancers for the beta gene after the recognition of these regulatory proteins in the homo modulation. So these are the SH sequences from one to four, and that's how they find the transcription factor and the regulatory proteins and activators in order to have transcription of the beta gene. How they discover that? Because at certain time, colonization of the internet is more thalassemia. The beta thalassemia or lepto thalassemia. هلا ال traditional one إنه ما فيش عندنا بيتا جين أو التالي في عندي بيتا ثلاسيميا نقص في صناعة الدم هيك أو في صناعة الهيموغلوبين نوع بيتا لأنه فيش بيتا جين okay and the major type it's lethal بال alpha ثلاسيميا the same thing إنه الجين تبع ال alpha مش شغال وبالتالي فيش عندي alpha so it's complete absence of the gene فال absence of the gene ممكن يكون deletion بالجين نفسه إنه الجين مش موجود أو جزء من الجين مش موجود. فبالتالي فيش عندك بيتا فيش هيموجلوبين A. They found إنه الجين is normal in certain individuals but they have thalassemia. Why is that? Because the LCR sequences هلا نرجع لبيس ستراكشر هون. Okay. They are mutated or deleted. So that's why they are not activating the beta gene promoter. So we have certain subtypes of thalassemia that are related to non beta gene deletion is a lot of regulatory sequences and that's how we discover diseases we discover that by searching for certain mutations so some thalassemia patients were identified with no discernible uh, mutations in the protein coding part of the beta globin genes nor in their promoters the promoter shagar the gene shagar instead the lcr sequences are mutated in these individuals okay uh, fine. Okay. 
we have time. أنا بحسب بالوقت كم محاضرة عند الأسبوع هذا. لا تنسوا إن امتحانكم تنتيتف ديت يعني بروبوز 17 17 واحد ولا ساعة. بعد